Hi guys and welcome back to episode 21 of the raid series. In the previous episode, we hit up a heap of shoreline and interchange, trying to find Sanitar and Killer. Uh, we're going to continue on that same path. I'm going to get into a couple more shoreline runs and um, hopefully we'll be able to get Mr. Sanitar done today. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Still have the same setup from the previous uh episode our survival rate is climbing we're up to 13 survivors in a row um we don't need that for this one i'm gonna switch back to old faithful and um we'll be able to go from there i'm gonna chuck on this and did I got that no i didn't i do i wanted that interchange rate with the bp round um cool and that should be everything we've got to take in oh we're gonna take in the um we don't need that here we're gonna take in docs case cool all right in the shoreline we go we're not gonna mess about straight into it so i picked the morning time for um shoreline because there's less chance that we're gonna have a lot of sweaty geared players trying to like peruse around the edge of the map and they'll mostly be charging in straight to the resort which means we should have a lot more freedom around the pier and the cottage area if everything goes well what we might run into though is a few hidden stash runners and that'll be people like running around the edge of the map trying to get all the hidden stashes to make money generally they'll try to avoid um they'll try to avoid me uh because they won't want to get into a fight with someone that's fully geared because they'll generally come in with not very much gear so you've seen uh, a few shoreline runs already. Hopefully we get a good spawn that we can quickly move through cottages and down the pier. I really don't want to go up to the resort or go anywhere near the resort if possible. So let's hope it's on pier side of the map or uh, village side and not um, by the pier. Let me see. Uh, we're by the swamp. So this isn't, it one isn't too bad. From this spawn, we'll actually run around the edge of the map and then cut across. Um, it's like a greenhouse up ahead. Down here. I won't ride straight across the swamp. It's just too risky. There's the greenhouse there. Uh, it's just safer to take her around the edge. There are spawns all along the, uh, the, the side of the, the village as well. And what you'll generally have is you'll have people run across this line here. Up into uh, like this tree line. And then follow that tree line up to the resort. So if you run straight uh, across... You'll generally get hit from the side. Now, if you're um, watching my live stream, I actually had that happen recently when I was trying to hunt Senator for my weekly quest, which was kill Senator nine times from over 50 meters away on shoreline. And that was my weekly. Horrible weekly. Um, so, yeah, I was running straight across this in this direction. I just cut the whole corner. I was like, you know, just being cheeky. And, um, yeah, as I crossed and got into that tree line, Two uh, really geared guys came from my right, and I was sitting there with a... I had a Fleur on... What did I have it on? I want to say an MDR. I just got smashed. Now, that is an option as well. We could take in the Thermal. To try and increase the um, speed in which we can scan for him. We do have the money to do it if we wanted to. Could be a very valid method in trying to get killer actually in the bottom just right along the bottom in the basement standing for him 
Now, if we do run into Senator here, he'll generally just be right up at the cottage. And we'll hear him before we see him. What we're listening for as well is someone running around inside the cottage as well. We hear a big stomping on wood. There's a plant inside the cottage. Just as I said would probably happen. Would have been a good idea to bring a couple of grenades to be honest. Just heard someone outside. I don't like the sound of this. I don't believe Senator was there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up this way. That fog's a bit annoying. The only place we didn't really check was out the front of the lock cottage. I feel like if he was there. We would have heard it. Man, that was tripping me out. Let's go check here. Trust me then. Just full sprint across that open field, try and get some distance. Now coming from this side, it can be a bit sketchy. I'm gonna look at this rock real quick, make sure there's no one there. Looking for a giant bald dude. Down here. Shots up at resort. Now, the longer you stay down in the pier section, the higher chance you have of dying. One of the scariest things right now is the fact that a lot of people are a little bit higher level. And there's a quest that requires you to kill players down at the pier. But what happens is, as soon as they hear shooting down there, they'll come down for the, uh, to try and get you while you're still down there. So, that's why I always go suppressed. If you're trying to get in a, in a map and kill the scab bosses and get out without dying, you do not want to be going in loud. You're literally baiting sweat lords into coming in and killing you. We're going to take the low ground. We're going to do a proper search. Put 
Let me get some D-bats. One. Slash draws will go in the doctor case. most likely be our last episode film today so i would need to get those d-bats in this episode otherwise i won't get that daily done i don't normally film three in a day but i was meant to be filming it all day yesterday or filming a few episodes yesterday and the and Taco was down for eight hours so i put me in an awkward spot did you only film max two in a day but hey when times come like when it's, it's needed it's needed you know I missed one of the bowling cabinets too. Come on, give us a D back. Usually fairly common. Alright, so what we're going to do from here is check out the pier and see if we can extract. This is a really risky thing to do because if you can't and someone's been looking at pier, they know you're here. No extract, right. You know as soon as you reach that boat if you can extract or not. All right, we're looking along, seeing if we can find anyone along that coastline. That... that should be a scab. Don't really need to kill him. He's trying to get mine his day, you know, live his life. Really want to be full stamina before I leave this spot. Picking that rock. All right. Our biggest risk is that rock on the right there. And then up on the hill directly to our front. I'll try and do this quickly. So we're at, out of the really choke point. You get caught in that open area down there. The spray and pray fest. All right, we're pretty much just going to follow the road to the extract. There is an, uh, an extract up the head called CCP. We can actually take that if we want. Guy's probably just looting uh, hidden stashes. If he's sitting like that, it's a very weird spot to be trying to ambush someone. Level 41. What? I don't know. He's not even looted much. I 
Thankfully, if he did try and shoot us, he would have had to get us in the head a few times to kill us with that ammo. I'm not sticking around here, though. Maybe suppress kills on shoreline he's doing? I don't know. I really don't know. Just didn't stash opened. Keep moving along here. This is called CCP up ahead. And the light needs to be on to be able to take it. Which it doesn't look like it's on. Oi, we're not we're not here to fucking shoot scan. Fuck off. open so we're just going to head straight to the main extract we could loot some hidden stashes along the way but I'd rather just get out to be honest probably do an interchange run on the next run just to mix it up shoreline runs have made me really anxious <laughs> I'm never normally nervous because I think we're doing so well it's just Makes me just not want to like make a mistake for you guys. So our biggest threat up ahead can be extra campus why we can avoid that if we actually cross the road here makes it really difficult for them to fight us and then also people leaving the map so we're about i think we're 16 minutes in and if people were just charging through resort grabbing whatever good loot there was and getting out now would be the time they'd be leaving so Anywhere between the 15 and 25 minute mark for all those guys that speed run through resort. So you got to be careful with that. I would say this is the highest risk time. If you hug the edge here and they shoot you, you die. The body tumbles down into the water. At least it used to. And there's no way for them to loot you. So... If you've got your stuff insured, at least you'll get your insured gear back. And there we have it. Cheeky little extract. All right, bathing pretty much spawned in at the swamp, went around the swamp, just past the village and into the cottages, heard a player in there, so we just skipped it. There was no grenades going off or anything like that. So there was definitely no scab boss and minions around there. I headed over to pier, checked the pier out, nothing in there of, of great, great need. And then um, started heading on the road all the way to the extract, ran by a player hiding in a bush, killed him. And um, yeah, extract down. Just the one player and three scav kills for that one. 
Nothing really else to report there. Did you get the one uh, D-Bat that we can hand in for the daily? We just need one more. We could do a scav run at the end of the raid, at the end of the episode to um, see if we can pick that up if we don't find it in the next run or two. All right, so loot-wise, I think we'll just dump it all in here for now. I'm going to get rid of that belt, eh? Not a fan of it. Make some more room down here. Right, there's all that. I think I'm going to just get rid of the PP-19. I think I held on to dog tags, didn't I? Yep. Cool. And... The cash for interchange. We'll switch back over to the MDR. Easiest way is this. Much would I would much rather prefer M61 if possible. I'm just gonna buy. Wow, it's getting expensive. Four rounds. Oh, let's just get like 30. Really? Fuck off. M61. Cool. And where's the docs? Oh, we don't need the docs case. Ash. That. I'll chuck a couple extra rounds there. That's probably everything we need for the map. Maybe just some more meds. A bite to eat. Have up some drink. Same again. Right. And we get in there and try and take out our good friend, a killer. As for the loot here, the D bat, I can't remember which one. It's elimination. One D bat. Right, one to go. Doesn't give us any uh, rep for, for him though. And uh, yep, got to kill another lazy 10 more PMCs for that daily. <laughs> Not going to happen. All right. Uh, and we'll sort out the rest of this on the next run. We'll definitely be holding on to that though. And I think I'm happy. Oh, we don't need the backpack. We can take the no backpack extract. All right, interchange. Uh, let's go evening. All right, so I'm sure you guys are used to the strategy for interchange. I think this would be run number five of interchange. Just fine. Nothing wrong with that. Definitely do not like this spawn for it though. I do have another option I could go. And that is to hug this uh, left hand wall. I think I'm going to pre-med here. <sighs> Most of the people that I'll run into going from this side are the ones coming through the hidden stash. I'll be running back into it or to try and cunt down players over here. I can.
can still go in. Come on, I'm gonna go in. Stick to stick to what I know, what I'm good at. Being a basement dweller. Random noises again. Is the safe rooms open? So our biggest threat. The second grenade. There's a guy above us. On metal. There's a chance a guy ran up and got on the scaffolding to look back towards the, the spawn. I don't know. And the escalator on the other side. Getting a bit too chaotic for my liking. I think that was a player. First for us to know, we could go to our daily. Yep, that was a player. Didn't sound like he was fighting killer. What I'm thinking is, um, if he was fighting killer, there'd be IPK fire or a PP19 or an AK. MS. Also a lot more aggressive. I could be charging him down. There's just a lot of grenade throwing. So I think it was mostly PvP there. With maybe a scav interfering. I think the person that shot at me was a scav. for kills scares me. So that was an old Q for a sidestep. Should have brought a flashlight. Kill up. 
We could be upstairs, but we're not going to reset. We are getting out of here. Oh, that shooting could be killer. I don't know. A bit weird, that one. I don't actually deal like it when it's transitioning into night time if I don't have a flashlight or at least a MVG or something. Dash runner? What he was doing, he had a VPO. No backpack. Had the good ammo in it. Saw him to be honest. Be worth more. I think at least. Rather lucky that I saw him. I actually have interchange tasks to kill scabs on interchange and check out stores and stuff as well. I'm trying to be alert as I can be here. We spawned in. We actually went a little bit around differently to last time um, that we spawned at the same spot. And a um, lot of firing, firing, shooting going on everywhere. It's always like that. Sometimes you do like a night raid and it's busier than the day raid. I, I don't understand it, but... Um, we moved around uh, underneath, killed some scavs and some players, and then on the way out, or killed a player and some scavs, and then on the way out, we bumped into that player, which we, uh, we killed as well. So, level 48 was the last guy. The other guy was between 11 and 30. So, we'd be going on still. Strong. Healing up. All right. So, I think we squeezed in another shoreline run real quick. I'm saving reserve for last because I feel like if that's our biggest risk of players. And I kind of want to play reserve however I feel at the moment. So if it's like, all right, I'm going to run straight for the extracts and just reset, I'll do that because it, it'll be closer to, you know, the finale if we do get all the scab bosses down without dying kind of thing. So, um, probably just going to straight sell this. We could take the AP ammo out. Uh, the, the backpack. And the pistol. Get Ragman real quick. Sell, 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 sell. Jaeger. 
Um, I'm just going to be lazy and just sell some of this stuff. Who want that one? Therapist. Could definitely sell that PSU for a lot more. Maybe not a lot more, but for more at least. All right. Now, switching back over to my shoreline. Get up. One thing that I've been neglecting is I haven't been bringing um, haven't been bringing splint. All right, that's everything we need for that. Don't need that. Provitals. And cool. We are ready to go. Cheeky shoreline run. Finish her up. Hopefully, this will be the one we can run into Mr. Old Senator. Let's do it. All right, shoreline. This is the worst spawn for us. Like, legitimately the worst. For us to go to pier, we have to run literally across everyone. To get to cottages, it's going to be rough. The only thing we can do from this spawn that would be cheeky is maybe having a, a, a bit of a look at the resort. But even then, I hate this spawn for this quest. So, my strategy is going to be this. I am literally going to go around the resort on the cottage side and walk through cottages and out. I could go to pier if I feel like it, but it's just not good, guys. I'm sorry. Like, so we go around that side. We're going to run across all the players' fronts. Everyone going to pier, right? If we go through resort, we'd probably get a little tiny opportunity to kill... Kind of there, and then we'd have to bug out. Oh, you know what I could do? Now, I don't really want to reset. All right. Rock passage is up, though. We could have a look at the bottom of West. If he's not there, I'm leaving. All right. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to pre-med. What if that's someone actually opening up a door? there. minion he's here Got him.
people at the extract. Two different people shooting at the airstrike. So what I'm going to try and do is just go straight for the tunnel. The Meldonian that I took reduces my damage taken by 10%. Pop the Propital so I've got the extra healing. We're just going to try and keep this tree line to us. There's a swamp on the right. If someone's looting the swamp. They're probably not going to be looking up here to fight people. But I am worried about people coming from the village. We have a full, full mag. That's at the bunker as well. So I'm glad we didn't go that way. That's the propital running out. Got us an extra mag. Now there's hopefully no extract campers. They also do hide in these bushes as well. I would normally go down the other side. And take the long way, but I'm just gonna gun it. Oh my god, we got Sanitar. That's so good! 
Oh, this is glorious. Four of six. Four of six. I knew he left the raid too without even going into the resort. <laughs> Obviously, part that we came up to the uh the, the rock passage extract, jumped into the actual resort, killed killer and his minions. I checked west and then kept, saw one at admin, killed uh killed them all in admin and got out. I, uh, Tate with blue markings. We should actually be able to get um a little bit of money for that too. 139k. We'll take that. We're not going to be going labs for money, so take that. It's probably vendors for that much. Oh my god, that's sick! That's sick. That was so good. My heart is pumping. Tarkov doesn't do that for me often, and right now it is pumping. That's great. All right, four of six. This has already been an incredible, uh, incredible run so far. All right. So BP, BP. Shoreline done. Um, yeah. Won't worry about food and that. We didn't get the, the, um, we didn't get the D-Bat and it kind of annoys me. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> even though we don't need to, I'm going to do a factory run as a scav and get us a D-Bat. All right. I feel like we're, we should celebrate with this quick scav run. Oh my God. That was sick. That was so sick. I'm wrapped. Um, so yeah, now we've got, we've got Killer and Glucker to go. So Killer, uh, we're just going to have to keep doing that underground passage. Keep going. Eventually we'll find him down there. And then um, hopefully we'll be able to drop him with M61 to the head. And then Galaka, there's about five spawns on one half of the map and then two spawns on the other. We'll focus on those five spawns and then just take our time, try and get the kill done and then get out. That will be how I'd like to move forward. Whoa. All right, let's get into the scav run. All right. Jesus. That's been looted. I don't think we're going to get the debug. We should just leave with this. This is really solid. I don't know if you can get debugs from toolkits. I think you can. Someone head into the extract. Right, a couple of thousand XP or I can get all this money out. I'm going to get all this money out. That's a nice little reserve key right there. It says here. I oh know. I think it's a 300k. So... Some good loot there. Um, chuck this stuff away for a second. All that stuff's in there. All right, we're over time. So what I'll do is I might end this one up here. I'll do a bit of a cleanup at the start of the next episode. And then from there, we'll go on the hunt for killer. Four of six down. <laughs> Even if I was to die now, I'd be pretty happy with that because that's a solid effort. Um, 
we've had to work hard for it. We've killed a fair few players too, even though I'm trying to avoid them at all cost. Guys, uh, usual drill. Make sure you like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Share them with your friends if you've been enjoying it. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, please. If you've enjoyed it up to here, smack the shit out of that subscribe button and uh, notification bell to keep it up to date with the latest videos coming out on this channel. Could help us get to that 100K sub mark. That'd be glorious of you guys to do that. Uh, I think it's about 40% last time I checked of how many people are not subscribed to watch the videos. So let's get it up. I I've never seen it up like really, really high. Uh, it'd be cool if we can get it to like 80 or 90%. That'd be sick. That'd actually be really sick. All right, guys. Um, hope you had a great weekend. Hopefully, you're excited for this week's uh, episodes of the Raid series. Uh, and lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.